It's time for another pack opening. Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf back again, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're uh, hitting you guys with another pack opening. We got some decent packs to open, not as good as last video, uh, but there are some good packs and some decent content now. We'll go through it, and then we will open up the packs that I do have from Champs and Hut Rivals. First things first, full disclaimer, um, I had a really bad week in champs. I didn't make top 500, so there's no ultimate pack from that. And I barely played rivals this week, so I finished gold instead of diamond like last week. So packs aren't great. They're still good packs, but they aren't the greatest. And I just noticed this is my Twitch layout. That's, hold on. Okay, now we're better. So let me just show you the new content that's out. We got a 94 primetime Panarin. We got an 89 Carlson, 89 Mers Lankins. Um, 88 Murray, 88 Doc. We'll go through some of these guys. Team of the week. Uh, we'll go more into depth on that. Um, we got these European guys out. We got the West Division All Stars. So we got a 96 Nathan Mack out, 92 Patrick Eddie, 94 Ranton, 90 Krug, 92 Doughty, 92 Flurry. It'd be nice to pull any of those guys, and that is it. So let me go show you guys the team of the week and then some of the prime times that are out. So let's view the lines here. It ain't the greatest team of the week, to be honest. Like, the highest overall is a 91. So you got a 90, Sebastian Alho with Wingman and Thief. You have Strom with Light the Lamp and Workhorse. Uh, Phil Kessel with Magician and Howitzer. Not a bad Kessel card, not going to lie. Um, you got Landeskog with Magician and Thief. You have uh, Pew Suter with Shutdown and Howitzer. A pretty good looking card, to be honest. Um, you got 88 Brian Russ with Light the Lamp and Gladiator. Rope Hints with Magician and Workhorse. Uh, John Gabriel Pajot with uh, Passing Playmaker and Wingman. Um, Rocco Grimaldi with Shutdown and Howitzer. And then you got these guys on the fourth line. On defense, OEL um, with Swarm and Magician. Not a bad looking card, actually. Um, you got Adam Fox with Shutdown and Wingman. Um, you have Roman Yossi with Spark and Gladiator. A pretty good defenseman, actually. A good team synergy there. Um, you have Jared Spurgeon with Shutdown and Howitzer. And then again, just the young guys on the last pairing. And then tonight, you got an 87 UC uh, Saros, which isn't too bad. One to Swarm, one to Spark. Um, and then you have Philip Gustafson. One to Balance and one to Distributor. A pretty good backup goalie if you needed one. Looking at the 94 primetime Panarin, one a passing playmaker, one a wingman, a pretty good looking card. It's a 94 Panarin, it's it's going to be good. You got an 89 Carlson, not the greatest synergies, gladiator and, and passing playmaker regardless. 89 Carlson, it should be good, just not the greatest synergies obviously. And then Kirby Doc with one a speedster and one to workhorse, which is actually... I mean, I wouldn't mind pulling this card. He'd probably make the team. Looking at the stats, you get another plus three on speed with distributors. So 93 speed. It's a good looking card. 6'4", 197. Good build. Um, now, you guys are probably watching this on Friday. I'm recording this as a Wednesday. So this is Wednesday's content. I know you guys are probably not too interested in it. But this is just the way the, the upload schedule is working for this week. So looking at the packs that we do have, we have some decent packs. Premium players pack and elite pack. A jumbo elite players pack, which is pretty similar to a ultimate pack two jumbo nhl players packs and two nhl players packs so we're gonna start with the worst and save the uh best one to the last as per usual so last week's pack opening was absolutely insane we pulled the 91 all-star tyson berry we pulled the 90 overall um lafontaine silver icon i believe so i don't know if we're gonna pull something good again hopefully we do i wanted to i want to pull something i need to pull something i need coins and i need players for the team so um, if we could pull something big this week, that'd be huge. If not, it's back to grinding champs and rivals this week and uh, waiting for a pack opening. So we do pull a new prime time that's out. Doubt I use him. Philip Deneau with one to light the lamp and one to wingman. Decent looking card. And then that is it. So yeah, met pack, but that's one of the worst ones, which is okay. And again, these cards are going to be good for making gold collectibles and icon collectibles when I need to upgrade the cards that I do have. So next we'll move on to the NHL players packs. 10 items, all gold NHL players with at least 480 plus overall players. Can we pull a purple this video? That's what, th listen, Saros has an 87 out right now, but that's fine. The, the mark for this video is to pull a purple. Let's hope we do that. So Sakara, we got Pavelski. We got a little stars pack going on here. Uh, Sakara, Pavelski, and Radulov, okay. Uh, Burakovsky, Andrew Shaw, three more cards left here. Tyler Ennis. Oh no. Okay, so that's an L of a pack as well. We'll move on and we won't talk about it. 
All right, another NHL players pack. Nate Mack on the cover. Give me Nate Mack's 96 overall HUD All-Stars card if you want, game. That'd be great. Braden McNabb. Taylor Hall, 85 overall. Okay. Um, Gambrill. Ooh, there's a purple. No, yay. You give me Nate Mack's base card when he has a 96 HUD All-Stars card out right now. I did say the mark for this video is a purple. We hit the mark. Give that a green check mark there if you guys are taking notes at home. But, ah, oh, that's tough. Nate Mack literally has a 96 HUD All-Stars card out right now. And you're giving me his base card, which is untradeable, which hurts. So, Brady Shea, Vincent Trocheck, Lafferty. Oh, my goodness. And that is it for this pack. But, I mean, it's a purple. We asked for a purple. But it would have been nice if it was his 96 overall, obviously. All right, we move on to the Elite Pack. Let's see what's uh, what's chilling this in Elite Pack. 580 plus overalls here, so let's see what we can get here. Uh, Justin Schultz, Connor Brown, downtown Connor Brown, Bolivier, Sens jersey, HUD All-Stars jersey. So all-time All-Stars, give me a HUD All-Stars card in this. Bruins alumni, Adam Graves, and Miko Koskinen. That was one of the worst packs we've gotten, I think. All right, we're on to the better packs now. Jumbo NHL players packs, 20 items, all gold NHL players with at least 1080 plus overalls. Surely there's something in one of these two packs here. Michael Backlin, uh, okay, Savard, Miro Heiskanen, come on, Antoine Strawman, Oscar Lindblom. Give me another purple, TJ Brody, Leaf Legend, Zach Cassian, Zem, Zem, oh my God, Zemgis Gergensen. Valamaki, Shea Weber, come on, give me a purple, and it's another base purple, an 86 Vasilevsky, the troll purple of this game, make that two purple base cards, McKinnon and Vasilevsky, that one definitely hurts, you see a purple and you're thinking it's going to be such a good card and it's just a base card, it hurts for sure, uh, so we got Kelly Rudy, Mark Recchi here, we got what, four cards left, is there anything hiding behind this pack? and that is a huge no we pull a purple but it's a base vasilevsky all right two packs left one of them is this same pack can we pull another purple in this one let's see come on and hopefully not a base purple so adam larson jesper bratt kelly rudy again back-to-back -back packs limblom in back-to-back -back packs Braden shen okay come on jvr david krejcic <coughs> Come on. Colton Pareko, LeClaire. Oh my goodness, please. Jacob Markstrom, Agazino. Not that much of this pack left here. Is there a purple? Jumbo Joe, Leaf Legend, Ryan Murray, Josh Anderson, and Staylock. That's, that's an L of a pack. And now we got the Jumbo Elite Players Pack. Like I said, pretty close to the Ultimate Pack. 20 items, all gold players with at least 18. 18 the leaf for 18 1880 plus overall players come on big money no whammy as a young dopey saw 20 says in his videos give me something good here colin wilson oh my goodness here we go jake muzzin give me a purple pull please i beg you Ilya makayev come on josh anderson oh my god they're literally just 80 overalls aaron dell carter hart poor guy adam henrique Patrick Kane, an 84 overall. If he gets a central all-star card, this base card can go for something, I guess. Burakovsky, Yanmark. There's literally four cards left. Be a purple, please. Abra oh, my God. No, this is it, isn't it? Oh, that hurts. Jeff Skinner. That These packs were not good today, boys. Not good at all. Well, I had a feeling I wasn't going to pull anything good this week, given what my pack look was last week, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm due for a couple bad pack openings, but we pulled two purples. They were base purples, but they're purples. I, I don't know, man. Uh, it's tough. I I wish I pulled something better for you guys, but I couldn't. Um, it is what it is, uh, but that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. We are getting closer and closer every day, so I want to thank you guys for the support in all the recent videos. And... Uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Again, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!